Capcom presents. <clears throat> All right. Hopefully this is recording properly. This is my ABC two, so and I can go. I used to use a program called Mugen, which is a 2D fighting software. I can go is essentially um, the, the predecessor, is it, or his ancestor. I'm pretty sure it's the predecessor. It's the predecessor to the Mugen build. And um, I have to say, this is a good software, man. A lot of the features in this software are pretty, are pretty nutty. Jump over, check my settings here. Alright, so I have the volume down pretty low. Should be able to hear my voice as I speak here. Gonna jump into practice like I do. Pretty soon I'm gonna make a, a playthrough of the arcade mode. The arcade mode's pretty nuts. <laughs> Excuse me. My arcade mode's pretty nuts considering all the uh, the stuff I have in here. I, it's, it's pretty uh, complex, pretty in depth. Um, it randomizes the bosses, the final bosses in the game. With all of the bosses from the previous versions of NBC2 and more, it's pretty nuts. Um, recently, I figured out a secret character select function via pressing the tag button. I'm going to show an example of that. You see there, you have regular comic book Spidey. I can tap the tag button, and there's Tom Holland. Tap again, there's Rainy. Tap again, there's Webb or Andrew Garfield. Um, my personal favorite is definitely Tobey Maguire, but... um. These, these are some good Spider-Man builds. I've already played through and, and tested all three of them. And um, I even did some voice modification to the MCU variation. So that he seems um, well more like Tom Holland. Many of his voice is squeaky. And uh, yeah. Among other things, the recent tweaks that I made that I didn't cover is I did portrait work. As you see behind the original comic book Deadpool. I added in the MCU or the Ryan Reynolds version of Deadpool. And uh... Yeah, it, it, it worked out, man. But that's all the tweaks I've been making, really. It's just a bunch of portrait work. Speaking of portrait work, I kept my promise. In the previous video, I said for my Street Fighter characters, um, uh, peek the new physics on his gi and his uh, his hair there. But um, I, I kept my promise, and I tweaked all of my Street Fighter characters, um, specifically the Third Strike counterparts that are the Secret Selects, which you can see there. And I added in the, the, well, the proper portrait work. So now all my Street Fighter Third Strike characters have official Third Strike art, which is really cool. I'm going to jump over to King. It's pretty freaking sweet. I can jump back to it. It's, it this is so awesome, dude. It's worth to explain how cool this function is, man. It's so simple but necessary. Chun Li. So cool, dude. It's just so cool. While I was doing this, there were other characters that I came by that I also tweaked to. Um, here's a good example, which is based Lily. This is really Master Lily, but uh, she's got an, an alternate version of Lily, which is a more anime slash chippy esque uh, version of Lily, or rather Lilith, that I, I threw in here. And uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. It makes sense to put her as a secret character here. Um, the only difference is um, Morgan, which is base Morgan. I noticed there's no base Lily and uh, Master Morgan. So um, they're they're selectable on the globe, um, unlike Lily, which makes sense because there's no chibi version of Morgan that I found yet. Uh, other things that I tweaked, as you see here, a lot of the animations have been overhauled for a majority of the default characters. Um, just new physics integrated, new blinking animations, etc., and the end result is, is pretty it's pretty fascinating, man. Like, a lot of things are more bouncy on uh, a lot of the female characters. Um, the male characters, the, uh, physics-wise, depending on what it is. But, um, yeah, I just went through and overhauled all of the characters in the roster. Um, you know, while I was in route to doing all of these, uh, these secret selects. And uh, the end result is pretty amazing, man. Just like all the new physics and the, the blinking animations added on the default characters really paid off um if you've been following my channel you've seen my previous videos where i just i literally and consistently and um yeah that's it i professionally and consistently released videos day after day of showcasing me tweaking every character um so yeah i just wanted to point that out i it's this isn't like out of the blue or anything you know it, it took a lot of work 
Um, but I digress. Another thing that I did too while I was in the process of adding my secret characters is the characters that consist of more than one character, that being characters that have a team or, or something special about them. As you can see here, I, I set it up so that you could select the characters that are on the team that uh, consist of the character. Uh, the best example is, is this, which is Captain Commando. As you can see, all of his buddies that pop out during this hyper are now selectable as fully playable characters. There's like Baby Commando, Ninja Commando, or Genzu, uh, Mac the Knife, or Mummy Commando, which is it's pretty awesome, man. Um, here's some more tweaks that I made to the physics and animations for the uh, the deep for for modded characters. Actually, I um, took the time out to go through all of my characters that I've added in to the roster, and I've modified them one by one to have new physics and uh, blinking animations added onto them. It's uh, it's pretty nuts, man. Oh yeah, there's an another example of some secret characters that I have uh, caked on top of one of the uh, the base game, not the base game, but one of my added characters, which is Jean Grey. As you can hear when I tap the tag button here, it toggles through different variations of Jean Grey, which is pretty pretty insane. Um, outside of that, I left her daughter up in the secret area above her. Because she's not Jean Grey, she's a daughter. But um, I just thought it was cool to uh, just keep a lot of my characters who aren't really based on one of the selectable characters on the globe out in their respective secret areas. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty important. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm tweaking here. There's a lot of characters that I'm adding in that I made from scratch myself. There's an example, which is my MK11 spawn, complete with his giant cape. Um, this character is so cool, dude. I think I released a video on my channel showcasing the spawn, but this this spawn is so complex and so amazing. It's like I can't put it into words. I did more character select icon work um, so that it doesn't float. I'm gonna jump over to my Delta Red Cami. As you can see there, the portrait is still highlighted instead of it disappearing like it did in the previous video, and that's applicable to a lot of the uh, the secret characters that I had. Um, that, that I don't have that issue anymore. I think that's it so far. I'm pretty sure I showcased the majority of the, the secret characters, but um, overall, it gets the point across, or, or it, uh, it gives clarity as to what I'm trying to do here. And um, yeah, there isn't really much to say after that. That's it, man. A whole bunch of physics tweaks, um, a lot of add-ons to the uh, the default characters to make them um, better animated. And just to be be overall better and i'm going to keep in the future i'm going to do some portrait work in the future for all of the characters um there's a mirror reflection that's in in the portraits on the character select screen you can see it on the bottom right of each of, the, of most of the portraits i'm going to go through and just clean those out i'm going to just uh by hand just redraw the artwork and uh fix all the art so that it doesn't have the mirror reflection even though personally i love the mirror reflection but um, it's not consistent because, as you can see there, some of the characters don't have um, the, f the full mirror selection. Which is, um, it makes sense given it's the shorter characters that you can't see in the mirror selections because they're, well, they're tiny. But um, I don't know. I, don't know. I, might, I might tweak it out. I might. Uh, yeah, that's it fam. I'm, uh, I'm still in the works. Adding in more secret characters. I have a lot of ideas. As you see here, there's Wolverine with his Adamantium Claws. Bone Claw is still in here. But for Adamantium, you could jump over to a maskless version of the Adamantium Claw Wolverine. I Meaning you could take his mask off. And it's, it's pretty it's, it's pretty cool. It's a really good uh, a good mod there. There's a lot of characters I modified the palettes for, of course. As you see there for Venom, he's now black instead of blue. Um, Hulk has the proper colored blue jeans instead of the purple pants they had on them by default, which was atrocious, by the way. Um, Rogue is now officially colored in her classic color scheme, which is green and yellow instead of um, silver and aqua. And uh, yeah, I've just been tweaking stuff. I'm just jumping through the characters and tweaking them accordingly to make them look the way that, um, that I believe they should look. And um, yeah, it's pretty it. Pretty much it. Can't think of anything else outside of all the new physics tweaks that I've made to all the characters and the new portraits for the uh, the, the Street Fighter based characters. Um, there's a ton of new secret characters as you've just seen 
hidden behind a lot of the selected characters. But um, with that being said, I still have my secret areas, as you can see here. There's still um, just secret characters off on the outside of the globe too, in their respective secret areas. And um, yeah, I just wanted to showcase that. A lot of characters too, ton of secret characters. They're, they're just everywhere too. Like I can literally go anywhere outside of the globe, and as you can see, it's just littered with cool secret characters. Personally modified secret characters too, and uh, I'm just dragging this out. All right, God bless. You.